One of the most underutilized and least talked about features of Spotfire are its action logs. The action logs allow you to uh, basically create a real detailed audit trail of every single transaction of any type that ever happens on the Spotfire server. So when people log in or log out or use an information link or run a, a particular SQL query, everything about how long that action took, what time that action happened and, and who executed it is all logged and can be all pushed out to a separate database. Uh, so this is a standard part of the Spotfire stack and it's really easy to, to configure, you just need to know to do it. So if you download the Spotfire server from download.tibco.com, which I just did today, you can go ahead, and this is just the same one that you would get from the live site, so I'm just gonna go ahead and extract all right to this directory. All right, and so here's that unzipped version of that. We'll go in and we're gonna go into the script section. And I'm in a Microsoft SQL Server environment. There's a local install here. So I can go into there. And then underneath that, you can see action log. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, just create a copy of this. That's just good practice. And then we're gonna edit this file so that um, the parameters that are set in the batch file match your environment that you're going to be installing into. So in this case, I don't really need all of this. I can just say localhost. My admin name is just kind of the standard SA. And then with the, the new name, you're just going to have Spotfire log, uh, Spotfire action log be the name of the, uh, the database the name of the user and be the password. So you're gonna have the same thing for all three in this case. And there's reasons for that. So while you might have policy in your own environment for this, the purposes of this demo, you'll see why. So if we run that, then we'll get a, uh, a log giving us results and these four, uh, these four responses basically means that we successfully ran our script. So we can delete that. And now the next piece we need to do is actually go into the bootstrap. So I'm gonna go into my Spotfire server, configure Spotfire server. And here's my server configuration tool. And I'm just gonna go into the configuration tab, and then underneath that, I'm gonna go into the user action log section, and I'm gonna turn on all of these features. I'm also gonna give the same, the, the right kind of setup here for the database. So Microsoft SQL Server was my uh, um, driver template. The host name just did localhost. And then the identifier was spotfire underscore action log. Let's make sure, was that, was that right? Yep, it was action log, good. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing for the username and the password, test connection, and we successfully connected, good. The only other thing that I like to do here differently, you can see down here the pruning period so this means that if it's set to 48, then after 48 hours, it's gonna drop whatever logs that it had. Now let's say that I wanted to keep my logs for a really long time. Maybe I'm pushing them to a really big database or I have compliance reasons that I wanna do that. So I'm gonna save mine for seven years, which would be 61,361 hours. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and save that configuration. I'm gonna give that a name that's descriptive of what I did. Finish. And then, now that I've done that, I need to restart the server. Okay. 
So we'll restart. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can log in. And we're not quite done yet. There's still, I'd say, two, two more steps. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm logging in. Okay, good, it's starting up. Now, one of the other files that was in that directory is this additional zip file. Um, this has all the pre-configured um, data source information, uh, information links, and a pre-configured DXP that you can just import directly into your library. Now to do that, you have to put this file in the right place. So you're going to find the directory for your Spotfire server itself. So in my case, it's TSS. 6.5 Tomcat application data library. All right, so I have these files in here. I don't need these. And I'm just going to take this one and I'll copy that in. That means that if I go to Tools, Library Administration, I should be able to find that file. And Press OK. I want to set that to be at the top of the library. And now it's starting the import. Now, it, the, uh, this log here, this is just showing what the process that it's going through to import this entire zip file. Um, I tend to press refresh quite a bit to uh, uh, you know, make sure things are happening. And so far, so good. We're going through 853 items, and you can imagine that's that's a lot to go through to um, uh, to try and recreate this. <clears throat> so the the folks over at Engineering have done a quite a bit of work to give you um, all of these pieces of the action log. All right, so it's going through. It's handling uh, different uh, dependencies. Right. And import done. Okay, so we're good now. So we can close that. We should now see actually the new log user actions. And if we go to Tools Information Designer, we should have a new data source. If we edit that, we have one more thing to do, which is just kind of save this so that it's saved properly. And now we should be able to open that. All right, good. Well, that means that if we go ahead and open the library this way, we go to the top of the library, find the logged user actions. You'll see a single DXP in there, and that should already be hooked up in such a way that um, um, it, Everything, everything's already working. So you're going to be able to see all of the users that log in from this point forward. And you'll see all the different sessions that they have and, and, and everything like that. All right. So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to pause for a second and actually pull up a, um, uh, an action log that actually has a lot more data in it because it's been running for a few days and you know, it is going to have things to actually show. Okay, so through the magic of uh, time travel there, I've unpaused now, and I've brought up another user actions environment, this one for one of the ones that I use pretty frequently. And here, let's bring this full screen. And you can see all of the different sessions that people have had over time, and I can actually see spikes where a lot of people have suddenly logged on all together at once. You know, or I can just narrow this down to just the past few days. And I can see all of the individual session IDs. 
Um, if I wanted to look at this from a user perspective, I have a whole bunch of different users who um, use this environment, and I can see each one of um, you know each one of the times that I myself have logged in or somebody else. From a library perspective, I can actually see which of the um, uh, the individual analysis files are the most commonly accessed. You know, so maybe I want to be able to be doing some optimization there. Or information links, which ones are the most commonly accessed and how, which ones are the ones that take the longest to actually open up. All right. So all of this is just standard parts of the Spotfire stack. It's available just when you download from download.tipco.com. Um, and I find this extremely, extremely useful. So I hope this was useful to you. Let me know what else you want to see. Thanks.